Good evening, you bastards. It's me, Clunk, and we're back again with some more Lube campaign. Um, previously, um, I believe... Okay, so um, I did actually move this guy to attack Dong, and that's the only thing that I've done since... Um, since the last episode ended. So we were going to attack Dong. We just upgraded the iron mine. I can't really remember what else had happened. Um... Uh, that was just earlier today. I believe we're good friends with Tao Quinn, yes. Kong Ron, we're cool with. And we're currently at war with... Let me just check everything. We're at war with the... Well, we don't like the Hun Empire. We don't like Sao Sao, but... Dong Min's over here. Where's Sao Sao? Where is Sao Sao? Where are you? I don't I don't see you anywhere. Oh well. We don't know where ex exactly he is, but Dong Min's over there. So it's the Han Empire and Huang Shao that we're coming up against, or that we're that are our main enemies. And I'm just gonna go ahead here and take the three brothers. Oh, we're at the in the diplomacy stage at the moment. Uh, yeah, take the three brothers and we'll attack Dong and do, we'll just uh, lay it under siege. Can we do that, please? Alright, that's as far as I can go. I've got to end the turn. So end the turn quickly. Really enjoying this game so far. I've only noticed one bug and that's my cursor keeps disappearing. Okay, so... Dong Min wants uh, us to um, sign peace with him. Um, in return, he wants 292 gold now and 494 per turn for 10 turns. Uh, I think I'll reject that. We will it's not really fair, is it, Dong Min? And I'll remember it too. Remember how you tried to screw me over with that shitty deal. The sound is good, but the uh, advisor woman kind of annoys me a bit. Uh, will she go off 1-1 one, one now? She might do. No, she's not. Luckily. Right. So if I take Liu Bei and just attack Dong. Oh. Attack Dong. You have started yep. a siege. No one cares. Right. So we can uh, get some siege equipment. You can either dig under the walls or you can get battering rams. I'm going to get some battering rams. Just kind of said, does what it says on the tin. And I'll continue this si siege for now. Uh, we're currently a minus food. So I'm going to... Let's look on our town. Do we have any food here? A commandery means ensuring there is enough yes, income. I get it. Like, is all right. I'm going to shut her off because she's actually really starting to annoy me now. Advice. They say it's low level, but it's almost, it's almost too much. What she says. Okay. Um. We need more food. Meditation garden. So I can't get anything from there. And this doesn't increase food either. Um, we have a food deficit. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to buy some food. For a couple food for a turn. Let's get it from our allies if we can. A pleasure. Um... Let's request food. I only want two. They want 4.4, okay. See what we can give them for us to give them food. We haven't got, got our armor. We've got some mounts. The white thoroughbred is a little bit worse than the um, black stallion, so I'm actually going to allow them to have that. And is there anything else I could, I could give them the merchant? Let's confirm that and see how that is. So I need something else to make it work. That's very close to making it work. Uh, let's make a small payment of 40 gold plus all of that for some food for 10 turns. Your proposal is sound. Excellent. So we sorted the food issue. We can't really upgrade any of our 
Well, we're upgrading that currently, so we can upgrade these. But at the moment, we can't. There's an, we can't get any food. Like we've got a meditation garden, which adds some satisfaction, but it's not doing much other than that. I mean, we've got lots of satisfaction faction wide. Look at that. Yeah, we're doing good for all public order and things like that. I don't know if we can find out exactly what our satisfaction is. But I think we're doing fine, so... I'm going to demolish it. I'm going to get rid of the meditation garden. It's fucking useless. And let's just end the turn for now, because we can't Consider spend the money on anything. Proposal. Okay, so if we give um, our tunic and our merchant, they will give us military access and we'll get loads of pay uh, quite a high payment. Okay, I don't want military access really because they're kind of out of the way. So I'm going to get rid of the military access and I'm just going to up the payment. If they want to give me, you know, all this money for it. Or should I give them my merchant? I don't think I should give them my merchant. I won't give them the merchant, or we'll just take a thousand off of them. Yep. Our talks are done. Good. Cool. It's positive. It's positive. See so if we can get at least a good, decent siege battle on this episode. The first episode is really long, but I'm going to start doing some smaller episodes afterwards. I don't want to get too burnt out by this game. Corrupt official, your siege continues with no side yielding any ground. Starvation disease must be taken hold, yet still they do not relent. One morning, however, a bird arrives from beyond the walls with a message. A local official will open the gates for a price and let your troops through. We can accept the offer for 500. We have a lot of money. Let's accept the offer. So that means the gates are now open. I must Not possible. So if we get Lu Bei and we can Luke, attack them, we have. Uh, we're going to get high casualties, and they've got a few more than us, but we are. They predict a valiant defeat. In fact, even though they've opened the gates, which means we don't need these anymore, I'm just going to continue the siege even more. Because otherwise, we might not. We might get in a battle that we might not even win, which would be a shame. And we still can't get another um, army. That's the main th issue, because I can't. Can't upgrade anything. Uh, let's see what we can build here now. Okay, so I need food, really. Um, so, conscription provides experience. No. Land development. One food property, 70 income. Yeah, that's what we want. We want land development here. And we could... We have 2,000. I mean, we may as well just upgrade it to a large town, so we can um, build something else. Have a couple large town, and then we can take Dong and make that our major city. Let's upgrade it. Is it doing it? Town. Oh, we can't. You can You can only construct one building at a time. Per oh, it's because we're constructing the other building. But we can't even... Okay, that's fine. But can we upgrade any of these guys? No, we can't because that's still upgrading. Uh, I guess we'll just stockpile our money even further then. While we lay siege to Huang Shao. This is turning out to be... not an e Well, I don't want to speak too soon, but this is... To avoid unnecessary conflict. It's going well. So we can give the military access. And they'll give us loads of payment, Kong Rong. Uh, I'll take your money, Kong Rong. Wisdom met... By wisdom. Thank you. And then when I can, I'm going to raise some serious force. Oh, shit. And these guys are coming in to either help out or attack. So, what we could do is we could 
take the city before they even come. We could... With Kaka instigated Liu Dei into a proxy war. Inst interesting. Two former generals of Dong Zhuo's factions, Guo Si and Li Zhu, have rebelled in the capital, sowing further chaos within the Triarant's faction. Hang on. Okay, okay. I thought I thought they were part of our um our um our army because I have them I had I believe Guo C in captured in my Cow Cow um campaign. So I just got a little bit mixed up there for a second. What I think is we should take this place before these guys turn up and then we can defend the city. Um it's gonna be high predict um high casualties. But it predict and it predicts predicts us as a defeat. But I'm gonna do it anyway because enemy looms behind us. We're gonna have to wait for the battle to load. It might take Leave a little bit longer. I will bring us victory. All enemies will fall. Order will be restored. I welcome all you challengers. More slaughter. Zhang Fei's got to be one of my favourite characters so far. Just by the type of shit he says about getting drunk and killing people. Now, bring honour to yourself and death to your enemies. Excellent. Can we fight the battle now, please? The music in this game is really, really, really quite good, but sometimes, I don't know, it's a bit loud, maybe that's because I've got headphones on. Okay, so all the gates are already actually open, I believe. Yes. We can't see the enemy, but I think, okay, so the quickest route. I've got all these little barricades. So... The quickest route, perhaps, is just straight through the centre. That's going past quite a few towers, though. We could just break through here and break the barricades. That's what I think we're going to do. So we're going to get rid of these two. I'm going to grab all of the archers. And I think... Yeah, we'll go from... Yeah, we'll go from this side, so... Yeah, we'll go from here. We'll do the kind of the same kind of strategy. We'll have our archers out front. And we'll have some of our spears behind them. And that could be our first group of uh, warriors. There we go. Nice. And now we can just get all of our cavalry back here. All of our swords could go in front of the cavalry. And any other of the halberd dudes. Oh, not these ones. These two halberds can come over here as well. And we'll have the three commanders. So this is our main army and we'll just keep these guys separated. Because these are probably the guys... Oh shit! Okay. Um, so, I was thinking about kind of just diving in, but perhaps not. Um, we'll take these archers to attack these guys. These guys to attack these ones. And we'll get these two smaller archer units to attack these guys. Um, I'm going to just put my halberd straight kind of here. And I'm going to just move, because there's less archers over here, I'm going to just move this army up over this direction. So we can start pushing the issue while all of, all of the archers over here are kind of concentrated on over here. That's the plan anyway.
Not sure how well it's going, because it looks like we're taking quite a few casualties, but we'll see. Need these guys to kind of sprint through the gate. These guys are moving up quite fast. They're moving their troops over here, but they're kind of... I'm not sure what they're doing. So they're moving over here to protect this, but they're also... Okay, well, if they're not protecting that, that side very well, I will kind of take advantage, I think. And I'll bring two swordsmen this way. Our men are running. The spineless cowards. Okay, get all of our guys over here to attack the sword infantry. Probably not going to win that because we got halberds. That's the that's a big issue. We'll get these our halberds over here to stop going through, and we'll send our swords through. In fact, we could start sending our cavalry through in a minute. It looks like we've captured the gatehouse, which is good. We should take a lot less damages on our on our swords that are coming in over here. Shit. They've got their general guy coming in. Okay, um I'm going to take where's my cavalry? I'm going to send my cavalry in. I'm gonna just send them in. Have these guys got anyone to attack? Oh, no, then let's get them to just the go over here then. Cowards. And we've we've won the, this tower. We'll stay. We'll try and stay on here then. And we can bring all our cavalry in, and we can bring all of our commanders in as well. Nice. Let's get our swords in on the action. Right, we can start getting this cavalry to attack these swords over here. Very nice. Oh, the game's starting to chug a little bit. The game's chugging along. Let's move up our archers. Oh. Looks like we're winning over here. I want to keep. Wanted to keep. Oh, Shang Fei's fighting these spears, all on his own. Um, I want him to dismount his horse if he's fighting spears. Right, these guys will get in here, and we'll get Guan Yu to to face the swords that's coming over here. There we go. Nice. We'll get these cavalry into the back of these swords. Get our halberds into the spears. Nice. Who have they got defending? They've got some spears defending their actual base camp. We could probably send these guys into the base camp. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this guy back. I don't want him being just fired at by these archers. I'll get these guys to attack and even the infantry should attack. Attack them. If they can, if they can get to them. Our men have no ammunition. They cannot fire. To attention. Right, let's go into these guys. Alright, now go away. I need to start attacking. Are we winning over here? My eyes are always on the future! Who knows if we're winning over here. It looks like we got them in a bit of a blob. Oh, they're, f they're fleeing. They're fleeing. I want Guan Yu to dig dismount as well. Excellent, they're all running. And I'm going to get Guan Yu, these swords, and Zhang Fei to start attacking their town centre. Start really pressuring them. I'm going to have to lower my uh, some of my graphic settings slightly because we are lowering up. Not a, not a great frame rate at the minute, but that's fine. I'm 
I'm not sure I could do great commentary on this game until I've learned how to play a lot better. At the moment, it still takes quite a lot of uh, thought processes. Let's keep our bows away from these spears. And in fact, let's get all of these guys over here attacking these spears over here. Including Cow Cow. But we'll get Cow Cow to... Uh... Can we get Cow Cow? Yeah, we'll get Cow Cow to dismount. And we'll keep these bows over here occupying these swords and stuff. And hopefully our guys over here will be able to survive. They're just, they're just archers behind them, so I'm not too worried about that. And our cavalry seems like it's mostly against swords, so I'm not too worried about that. We've just got this one guy. This general. Pay one shall. Fucking shit up there, but hopefully he'll die. Hopefully he'll die soon. Nothing personal, you understand. Where are they going? I don't know where Cao Cao's going. I don't know where Guan Yu's going or Zhang Fei. Guan Yu and Zhang Fei, get to these spears. We said we were going to kill these spears. I don't know what their problem is. These bows have got these spears over here anyway. Fine. Now, because of this, these swords might not actually be able to beat these guys just by the sheer number. And without the help of the heroes, we might not be able to win this fight easily. But, you know, we'll see. These bows are running. These spears are... They're doing well. Have to admit, they're doing well. And there's our archer militia still surrounding them. This guy must have racked up so many kills. They're getting more spears in there. Okay, we need to get our cavalry out of there if they've got spears coming in. Get our south cavalries over here. Do they know I'm taking their town centre while they're fucking fucking about right like that? I've even got Cow Cow in there now. And Guan Yu and Shang Fei aren't far behind. Let's get our um, cavalry to start charging these guys down. Uh, we'll let, we don't care if this guy wants to do whatever he wants. We're probably going to lose this battle over here, to be fair. Maybe not. We'll see. I just don't want those archers to come back. Hello, monkey. My dog monkey's arrived. I think dinner might be ready soon, so I'll have to wrap up after this battle. Right, they're all routing. We just need to get into this area over here, I believe. There are just so many of our guys, I'm just not sure if they, they'll be able to cope. This cavalry needs to get away from that spear unit. That is not good. Spears and cavalry, not good. Not a good mix. There we go. No, where are they going? Attack! Victory. That's what I like to see. And I'm claiming the victory. There we go. Close victory. Well, they... They didn't want to believe me. They said I'd lose, but I won. And we totally annihilated them. And we didn't even really use Zhang... Um, Zhang Fei and Guan Yu. Doing real good. Right, let's see how we the battle report or how we did. Justice has shown Deployed nine hundred and fifty nine. We lost five like almost six hundred five hundred ninety seven. We have three hundred sixty two rem remaining, and we uh, we captured one hundred and five. They deployed one thousand three hundred and twenty two, and they lost one thousand three hundred and twenty two. And now we have their city that we can occupy and defend. Fortune favors the vigilant. Right, and now we can. What's this? Grand Silo. That doesn't really do too much. 
convert that into communal workshops. Or we can upgrade our Harbor Trader. Plus 25% in, um, income from commerce, agriculture, buildings are cheaper. And we get a lot more food production if we do a Harbor Trader. Well, we get free food production. I think it's just a no-brainer to do the Harbor Trader. And that's taken up an awful lot of our money. Is there anything else we can level up? No, we can't because we're already upgrading that. And we're still upgrading that. And that's still up being upgraded. Uh, let's do our reform really quick. Right, what do we want? What's this got? This branch will enable mining techniques. No, even though we do have a mine. More income from the peasants. Um, these are ones I've already got. No, they're not they're the ones I can get. Agriculture tax relief. Unlocks some more agriculture units and it unlocks another unit. I've already got this one. Might as well get it. We'll get the tax relief for the agriculture. And we've got one. Zhang Fei's leveled up, I believe. Let's. Let's check him out. Uh, so we can give him Fury, which gives him a lot more morale. Some charge bonus. Guerrilla de deployment. That would be so cool, actually. Guile. In fact, let's do Guerrilla de deployment. That could be really quite fun. That's where you can deploy anywhere on the field from the beginning. And um, something to do with my army. What's up with it? It's just replenishing. So uh, let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. Make sure there's no. Well, we'll just see what happens. Oh, Wan Shao. Wan Shao has declared war on us. Cool. I ain't worried. Did he see the way we just destroyed Dong? He wants peace. Uh... No. A stubborn refusal. Yep, I know you're coming behind me, but I ain't worried. What the Hun's up to? We survived another another turn. And we've been declared on by Wan Shao. We've landed control, Liu Bei looks domestic affairs. You got minus twenty percent construction cost for the next turn, twenty um, next few turns, and minus one construction time. So now's the time to start construction shit, constructing shit. Let's um, we could upgrade. No, let's upgrade it to a um, large town. That's what we always planned on doing, and I think I'm going to end the episode here. Next episode, we're gonna. Um, Try and defend from Huang Shao and all of their um, their faction. We'll def try and defend Dong, and um, we'll try and def defend from Wan Shao. And maybe we'll expand out to where Wan Shao is. That's probably what we'll do, in fact. And we'll continue to grow our each of our um, our diplomacy in each of our um, cities, of course. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're new and you want to watch more and that's it. Thank you very much. Goodbye